Hello everybody, this is Flaming Cereal, and seeing how much you guys liked my Turtle Beach headset review, today I'm going to be reviewing the keyboard, the Razer Lycosa, L-Y-C-O-S-A. It is around $40, and it's a great keyboard, and this will explain why, or this review will hopefully show you why. Now, as you see right now, I don't have it plugged in because I want to show you how to set it up. But, actually, let me unplug that. But, um, when you do plug it in, all the keys are backlit, and I'll just show you all the features in just a second. So, this right here is the cord that you plug in. It has this nifty little box and the the wires are nice and thick to ensure that there isn't any uh, problems with the wires twisting or something or anything. So please excuse the colossal mess I have back here. Currently I am unaware of how to make wires look neat so if you have any way to do that please tell me. So, you've got your two USB um, thingies, doohickeys, and they are, one is for the, here, let's go ahead and show you this here, one is for the keyboard functionality, and the other one is for the keyboard backlight. Ugh. So now that they're both plugged in there, as you can see, the uh, keys light up nice and bright blue. And then you've also got your um, headphone and microphone um, cords. So you can also plug that in back here. I'll show you that right now. That is the headphone one. Or, yeah, that is the headphone one. And that is the microphone one. So once you got all that plugged in... Actually, my cord for video came undone. So once you get that all plugged in, I'll go ahead and turn the light off here. That's what it looks like um, without a light on, but I'll just go ahead and do this for the sake of um, seeing it better. And, you know, it works. It types very well. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. You know that a keyboard's going to type well. <clears throat> Excuse me. You, what you want to know is how good it is. Now, this is... This keyboard is, is the best keyboard that I've had for a couple of reasons. One is it's got these media controls. So say you've got Windows Movie Media Player open. You can play it and pause it and fast forward and do everything like that. And you can turn volume up or down. Another interesting thing you can do is you can press this this key right here and turn your light off and then you can hit it again and it'll do a WASD cluster lighting so you only see those lit up and you can also do the full keyboard lighting now a few other features of this are the keys are nice and they kinda have like this hard rubber feel I'm not sure how to explain it like I got this non-stick rubber feel, which is really nice, and they're not they're not too noisy and they're really functional. I don't like I don't hit keys or anything and it doesn't work. So and, oh, I also want to show you in the back here there is now I'm going to turn this around so that you see this right. But you can see that there are there's a USB and there's a headphone and microphone which is why you plugged in all those cords now for example I have my mouse plugged in to my keyboard which works very nicely and I have my speakers plugged in to my keyboard which also work very nicely so that is how you oh, got it upside down that is how you set that up it's pretty simple you it also comes with an instruction manual really easy you just put in the CD and everything else explains to you you know how to set everything up how to change the speakers and this is this keyboards compatible all the way from I think XP to Windows 7 which is what I have there's also another interesting feature is you, have you ever hit the um, 
the Windows key when you're in a game and it's kicked you out of the game. On this keyboard, you can hold down the Windows key and hit this little razor button right here. And that will disable the Windows key and also turn off ghosting. Ghosting is when, if you ever played an FPS on PC or any, probably any game on PC, you know what ghosting is, although you may not know what it is. It is when you hold down more than three keys, Windows only recognizes three keys, but this disable it's got an anti-ghosting feature so you can press more than three keys and that is very good for games especially games that you have to be like for example you're playing call of duty then you're holding you're moving in diagonally while crouching and you um and you want to throw a grenade or, and you say you're holding down the crouch, then you can't throw a grenade. You'd have to let go of crouch and then continue on there. And that this keyboard disables that so that you can be crouching, moving, and do everything you want. It also has a pad for your wrists if you're going to have a long gaming session. And I think that's about it for this review. So if you like this video, rate comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.